a caller called in and talked about going around on militia websites. You know, I could start a website and claim that I was a Chinese jet pilot from Pluto. Or I could start a website and claim that I was militia this, militia that. I believe in the militia. It's in the Second Amendment. It's an armed citizenry called out by your local government or your local leadership. If the country's invaded or if the federal government falls to an outside hostile force. Burn him! You've got the states and counties and cities organizing against globalism right now. You've got countries organizing against it, and our movement is popular. This is why Europe doesn't work. This is why we have populism, because Europe is weak with populism. The globalists are going to try to brand it as extreme, racist, or, or, or basically outsider. Most Western nations have their own Trump, a racist, xenophobic, Islamophobic demagogue appealing to a mix of nationalist nostalgia, patriotic myth, class grievance and economic insecurity. In France, there's Marine Le Pen. In Hungary, Viktor Orban. In the Netherlands, Geert Wilders. The True Finns in Finland and UKIP in the UK, to name but a few. What uh, Senator Reid may call domestic terrorists, I call patriots. We have a very different... Uh, well, and, and I said, and these people think they're patriots, they're not. I use that word typically. If, they, if they're patriots, we're in big trouble. It's been the left historically wanting to bring down the country and then bring in a multinational force from communist and socialist nations to suppress us. Loretta Lynch tried to do that just about a year ago with the Strong Cities Initiative to bring in the UN. Attorney General Lynch basking in New World Order arrogance bypassed the American people, bringing together a vile congregation to the Islamic High Council, the United Nations. This global police force was dreamed up by professors in the halls of Oxford and spearheaded by the New World Order think tank, the Institute of Strategic Dialogue, now launched as of September 29, 2015, by our traitorous government. It is described on the Strong Cities Network website as a global network of local authorities united in building resilience to prevent violent extremism. An international steering committee of cities and local authorities selected from different regions across the globe. So they're trying to cause a civil war, civil unrest. Then if things break down and get really bad, they have now said in Atlantic Monthly, they're going to overthrow Trump claiming he's a Russian agent. Then all of the new Republicans that are elected, they'll claim were, were elected by Russian influence as well. If they go along with the purge, maybe they can stay in office. The Democrats will then have new elections run by Homeland Security. We'll never have another real election again. They will then claim everyone resisting this takeover is a Russian agent. So, of course, they're going to have the websites and the groups and the organizations. That's a false flag. Just like Trump knew when the Jewish centers were being attacked, he said it's probably a false flag. Turned out it was a false flag. Because 99%, I mean, every once in a while you see a real racial attack or a cross burning or somebody painting swastikas in a dorm. But 99% of the time, it's somebody wanting attention. I've studied history. I know who their tacticians are. I know their plans. And that's why I've said they're going to try to kill the president, overthrow the president, whatever they can, cause a civil war, be violent, blame it on us, and then claim if we resist them, we're with Putin. The trainers that train... The Soros anarchist, the middle of June, the trainers that train these trainers that go out through the country and train these people are fixing, they're changing them over, Alex. But they're going to protest and riot, but they're going to claim they're us. The dollar's going to tank. Uh, inflation is going to run out of control. I agree. Uh, and, and, and this is all going to happen. It should have happened years ago, but it didn't. We were able to delay the day of reckoning. Sure. And Barack Obama got out of Dodge. And his whole house of cards is going to come down around Donald Trump. And so, yes, of course, uh, that's what we've been uh, hearing. That if there's a civil war, there'll be Russian air cover. That's not how the military works to begin with. It's whoever gets control of the National Security Council and the launch codes and the nuclear weapons. And then whoever gives orders to the submarines and ships. And do they follow those orders? After four years of research, the next big game changer has arrived. Z-Shield, toxic metal and chemical defense support. It's made in the USA. It's filled with known 
compounds from nature that are absolutely associated with detoxifying the body and it supports the info war. It is a classical 360 win. We're changing the world. Now it's time to change our bodies with Z Shield at InfoWarsLife.com.